Hello, welcome to my channel. Renzo here. Uh, I'm gonna paint with acrylics. I I I have here titanium white, medium yellow, brilliant red, cerulean blue, ultramarine blue, and uh, Mars black. Okay, I'm gonna start just making a sketch. Okay. Let's use red, a little bit of cerulean blue. Okay, let's make a sketch here. I'm trying to see the, oh, the overall shape, the whole head. I mean, the face is here, kind of in this triangular shape, and the whole head is in this big, big square. Mixing yellow, red, a little bit of cerulean blue. Okay, let's see the face, uh, the proportions. The normal proportions you know is, I mean, from the top of the head and to the bottom of the chin. Let's see, it's here, around here. You look for the middle, it's going to be for the eyes. That means that I can place this eye here. Eyebrow here. And from the eyebrow, and from the eyebrow to the bottom of the chin, the same. You look for the middle, and the middle is going to find, we're going to find the nose. Okay. Oh, hello Fiona, hello La Laura Laurence, hello Rosario. Okay. Okay. Now, now I'm gonna add a lot of white here. I just want to place first the lights and the shadow. And I'm squinting down my eyes and try to see the light like I just a shape something like like this let's see okay this is the shape of the light mm, more or less Okay, now I'm going to pick up another brush, I'm going to do the same with the shadow. Red, yellow, ultramarine blue. I'm trying to get some you know, brown. Okay, let's see all the shape of the shadow. Okay, so look here. shadow and the light ok 
Okay, now I'm gonna pick up another brush, a smaller brush, and I will try to make to draw the eyes, the no the eye, the nose and the mouth. Make more details. Okay, let's see. Around here is the position of the eye, yes? The nose, the chin, the top of the head. Okay, usually from the nose to the chin find the middle and the middle is going to be for the uh, the bottom of the bottom lip okay that means that up here is the mouth here in this position okay that's the canon okay i mean you gotta just check out on the photo check out with the person you're painting from and see if the proportions uh match okay If I follow those proportions, this is going to be the bottom of the bottom lip and here is up the upper lip, the nose, ok for the angle of the nose I always prefer put my brush on top of the photo and see the angle and then move this just like this to my painting ok in this case I have the image here in my in my computer in my monitor and then I don't move it here and I have an idea about this angle here hello Mervat thank you Lawrence Mohammed See, now here I'm going to draw more details you know and I and the profile view is something just like this okay you need to just consider that the upper and lower eyelid it has some thickness the eye is here and you see this this is the thickness of the the, the skin here in the upper and lower eyelid Now let's say that I'm kind of close, I'm follow, following the canon and at the same time I'm obviously trying to copy the likeness. I need both, okay? I need what I know about the canon, the proportions, and I need my observation to copy the likeness. If I, I don't know the canon and just... Uh, trying to copy as just by following what I see that's gonna be kind of difficult okay now I'm gonna add more paint the brand of acrylics that I'm using are this one Riffs If you know my channel, you know, but uh, if you want to uh, mix the skin color, is kind of easy. It's just an orange. You start with an orange, you add white, blue, or black. You choose. It's up to you. Some people just don't like to use black, then you use blue because the idea is knock down this orange. I 
I'm not adding water. Okay. Okay, again, uh, now I see the light. I'm not so worried about the color right now. I mean, that's gonna be little by little. I need to see something. I need to have more, more here on the canvas in order to start mixing more and more and adjusting the colors. Okay. Let me see. And just added this just like flat to the whole lit area of the face okay and just trying to respect the position of the eye the nose and the mouth now I'm gonna do the same I'm gonna wet this one I don't want it to dry on me there's another brush for the shadow That's my little dog. Let's wait for her to stop barking. This is too orangey. I want this to be more grayish. This mm. yes, I need to add more. Like I said, you decide. You add blue to knock down any color, or you add black. It's up to you. With black, it's gonna be faster. I mean, you kill down any color you add black, but if you don't, don't know to control how to, how, how to control it, uh, you can end up with really muddy colors, and that's not gonna be good. Okay, hello, vitamin C or D. <laughs> Hello, Enrique. Okay. Hello, Liliana. How are you? Let's see. Still, is too orangey. This color. I'm gonna add more black, more white. I need more white.
see. up another brush and I'm going to blend here this brush is wet See the prof profile. Let me fix my camera just a little bit. I think it's, it's out, of, out of focus. It's no better, but anyway, let's continue. I'm mixing black and red, a touch of yellow. Let's draw with this color. change this brush I need a smaller one this is gonna be better this is number six round brush all my brushes are synthetic brushes okay let's draw the eye here okay okay let's see I'm measuring again
I'm using this brush for blending. Okay, I think. Uh, okay, I think I, I, I can add. I realized that I added this uh, dark color, really wet, really thin, transparent. Now I'm gonna mix more paint with this water. It's just like a brown, you have a burn umber, this is kind of a burn umber with white and uh, a little bit of yellow, you can, uh, orange, you're going to have the same color. Okay, now let's go back to this one. of black to gray down this color that was that was too much black into a yellow and red again
Okay, let's work on the shadows again. I have this uh, to spray wire. I prefer always to grade down the colors with black and white uh, because it's faster and since I'm making a live stream I always want to go a little bit faster to spend two hours sometimes sometimes I mean three hours but I don't want to spend more time than that Okay, hello Ali, hello John, hello Break a Leg, hello David, all your only. Ah, this is a great leg. Hello Car Carlton, thank you. Sometimes I just want to want a, want a material that dry faster for me to work faster. If it doesn't dry that fast, I mean, I have a plenty of time for mixing the colors. I start just by uh, placing the lights and the shadows, light and dark, just shapes. Okay, now I'm just adding more mid-tones, it's not just uh, one flat light area. Now I have these mid-tones all over the face and this process is going to be about that, just adjusting that. Maybe the nose is a little bit darker, reddish darker, that are mixed, and try to match the color. Okay, I lay down the paint, I pick up another brush, this is clean and wet, and I blend to reddish. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow. Have a round brush here. It's clean. I'm gonna use this for blending too. Okay, really softly. Okay.
Okay, and adding this highlight here. I add the highlight, the highlight, and I blend. Going through soft the edges, always try to soft the edges, okay? Just those sharp edges uh, makes just add some hardness to the painting. that I'm using. I wet the brushes and I let, let the brushes there with paint otherwise they are gonna dry. Okay, uh, thank you Vera. Cartoon is asking me what about painting a Japanese geisha? Be a good idea. Uh, Mervad Saskimi, do you use acrylic brushes for oil oils or vice versa? Yes. I mean, for acrylics, I, I use, I mean, it, it's the same brand, but I don't use the same brushes. Okay, I have the brushes for acrylics and for oil, the same brand, but I mean, I don't just the brushes that I've been using for oil paint. Just keeping them apart, and the brushes that you use for acrylics, I don't use them for oil paints. The brushes for uh, oil paints after, I don't know, I mean, it's, it doesn't take a long time for the brushes to start getting stiff. Even if you take, you take good care of them, I mean, that's going to happen faster. And that's different with the, acrylic, the, the brushes that you use for acrylics. That's what, it's because it's easier to clean them out and I mean, it's just because maybe the acrylic is with water. We gotta take uh, more care of our, our uh, oil paint, oil paint brushes than the acrylics, the acrylics one. 
because I mean I want, after I finish a uh, oil paint session I have to clean up the brushes uh, with tropenoid and then with uh, soap water and soap and sometimes with thinner okay and with acrylic it's different yes just water and that's it sometimes I use alcohol when I forgot to brush to wash a brush and it's kind of uh, it's not it's not stiff but it has a little bit of the color is still there in the, between the, the, the hair and I have to clean the brush and water is it's not gonna be enough and I use alcohol I apply the paint and I have another brush for blending I think this color is okay. I need to add more light, more highlight. One thing about acrylics that I don't like is the when you add the highlights after just a minute you're gonna see that it's not as bright as when you just add it and you have to go again add the highlight again and again and again. I don't like that, uh, but I mean that's, we gotta get used to uh, the material, yeah? but to be honest I don't get used to that, I mean that's kind of uh, difficult to control, maybe because uh, I mean I paint with oil, oil paints and acrylic, acrylics and sometimes with pastel pencils, I'm pretty sure if I was painting just with acrylics like daily I'm gonna be sure maybe that that's gonna be I'm gonna have more control on, on this but that's okay it's no big deal I mean it's, it's just uh, when oil, I mean with oil paints you put the brush stroke and it's there okay if you blend you kind of soft everything but with the acrylics it's different you put the you blend and in a minute you, you have to add again this highlight This is a round brush, just like this one. It's even the same number, you see number 12, number 12. But this one is just new, it's really pointy. It's, I mean, it's thick, but it's pointy. Now what happened when it's just, I mean, have some used. Uh, now it's not pointy anymore, but it's perfect for blending.
Okay, what I'm doing right now is dabbing. I dab on the surface. It's like doing just this, just like that. Highlight, pick up the brush you use for blending. Clean out the brush and go again. Okay. Now let's draw the ear. Let's see the other shape. Okay, this brush is not working anymore. Okay, let me see. I'm doing this in the photo, on the photo, trying to see the top of the ear. Is aligned with, let's say, uh, the tip of the nose. Okay, I'm doing that right now. It's kind of at the bottom of the ear is aligned, aligned with the mouth. Okay, that means that it's kind of around here, the top, and the bottom. I mean, we don't see too much of the bottom, but it's kind of around here. Now to get the width, I mean the be be the better option is just to measure, okay? Do the, in your photo you do this, and then you compare it, you move it. Because the image in my mon monitor is not the same size, like the image in my, uh, like my painting. Okay, I'm gonna use this light, this is light here. It goes up, up, kind of hit this area here. That helps trying to see some angles. If I got this right, using this, I'm gonna draw the ear. Okay, stepping back, well, close enough. Close enough, I'm gonna leave it there. need to get used to see angles everywhere okay now I have the ear now let's see let me do something more from the ear from this light I have this light here to the eye I think this hair light hair is just here Hello Maji. Hello Ahmed. Okay. Mm, stepping back and try I see this. I'm putting my brush. First I do this in the photo, okay? And then in the painting. Here. And I see this space. I put here. And I see this space. Okay, I'm trying to see the shape here. I do that, and I think I got a mistake here. Mm, yes, I have to move this like more. To have, tilt this more to the left. Okay, that's one thing to fix. I gotta reduce the f oh, whole forehead. It's too much forehead. Okay, whereas I have to. 
to the same here, reduce here okay. here, here, okay let's continue working over over here and then I will, I will, back, uh, will go there in a minute hello Satna thank you, what's that light blue color? Oh, it's too bright, yes. I mean, that's cerulean blue. It looks like to, it looks like a uh, to, uh, to light. Let me adjust my camera just a minute, okay? I think that's close. No, it's not that close, but I mean the color of the skin now is pretty close. But here the colors looks like brighter. That's because I mean I have a really strong light to my right, really close to the painting. I mean, I'm trying to explain why why the color looks like that. Okay, let's continue painting. Mix in black, red, and yellow. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the colors again. The brand is Reefs. Okay, I'm gonna tell you again. Let me do this. Okay, this is the brand Reefs. The color is titanium white, medium yellow, brilliant red, cerulean blue, ultramarine blue, and Mars black. reduce the forehead okay let's work here again more black and white a little bit of yellow Water. and let's do again the background I think it's too dark a little bit of white more water okay, let's see again I said that I need to correct this better
Okay. I need to blend that. I don't want to leave or sh This brush, this brush is wet. It's not fully wet. I mean, I wet the brush like this, and I do this with my fingers. Take out the excess, and then I use for blending. Okay, I need the smaller brush. Let's just use a smaller brush. Soft the edges. If I want to leave a sharp edge, it could be the nose. This is the difficult part because I mean the acrylic dries on us. Okay, it's better. Okay. Uh, yes, Sapna, it's a real blue and ultramarine. Marvad is asking me. Yeah, it's the same. No, no, no. I don't. I just, uh, just same brand, same brand, but uh, different brushes. Okay. The brushes that I use for a click, I don't use them for oil paint. Thank you, Stanley. Okay, let's continue. I need to work here on this value, it's not that dark.
I use this brush for blending. And the second, I need towel, towel paper. Okay, I need to make this more grayish or greenish here, here and keep this reddish a little bit of reddish here here and here Okay I'm gonna do that with uh, glazes I still need to finish the ear make this a little bit darker Okay, let's work on the eye. Okay, stepping back, I just need to see if okay, let's work on the eye.
Okay, I need to step back. Mm. Yeah, that's okay. Mm, okay. I'm gonna work work around the eye. I need two brushes, one brush for apply the paint and the other one for blending. Okay. Let's mix this little bit of orange here. A little bit of white. I'm going to add just light here on top of the upper lid. this brush and I blend with this brush okay okay now again you gotta be patient patient a bit about, about this because uh, remember that you add the light and it's not gonna dry like that every time that acrylic dries it changes the value it dark it gets darker a little bit but it gets darker Aaron Cantuba acrylic, yes, this is acrylic. Hello, Jessica, thank you. Uh, Davis, what? Oh, this is water. This is water. This is just water. I'm just using acrylic and water. keep my brushes wet I dip the brush in water like this and I can do this or sometimes I just pressure the brush the, the hairs with my my fingers to take out the out the water That's the only thing that bothers me a little bit that I have to be adding lights again and again again and again. But I mean, this is uh, that's just the material, and at the same time, it's because I want this soft uh, surface. I want to make it soft, and that's why I keep blending. And I keep losing this string of these lights. Cleaning the brush. Okay, let's change the color. I'm gonna use this darker color. I wanna paint the eyelashes.
now now the brow okay now let's work on the nose Cleaning out the brush again. Now let's mix some red and yellow. Okay, a little bit of this dark color. Did you say you used water with oil? oil? Oh no, this is acrylic paint. Okay. Right, so what do you prefer, imported painting, oils or acrylic more? I don't know, I think, uh, I don't know. It's just, sometimes I, I just want to paint with oils and sometimes with, with acrylics. But I paint mostly with oil paints, I mean, just because I get used to that and but what yeah, I think any material has uh, something different something that we have to try at least for some time well it is too dark I just uh, want to paint with watercolor, which is different, I mean, that's more difficult. And eventually I will do it. Uh, that's the same with acrylics. I was doubting about, you know, as I went, when, when I have, uh, when I was a student, I tried, I tried, I tried, I mean, all the materials, I think, pastel, watercolor, uh, oils, I, 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 I even did a sculpture, and it's just about that, I mean, it's about painting, yes, I mean, <laughs> It's about painting and painting. And just changing the material makes may, maybe this more uh, entertained for me. I'm trying to give you an, an answer. To be honest, uh, uh, I don't think about that too much. I just kind of use paint and use what, what I first what I know, I mean, and what I want at the moment. Okay, thank you, Sherry, Thomas, Art, Fred. Uh, oh, but yes, I paint a lot. I paint a lot. I mean, I've been painting for years. That's, this is my profession. Yes, that's what I do for a living. It's imagine like, I mean, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you, uh, I'm pretty sure maybe 99 percent people that's watching. YouTube's channels about painting, paints, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure you paint, uh, but maybe, uh, I mean, you have another profession, and I'm pretty sure you spend like eight hours or maybe more working, that's the same for me, 
I mean, I gotta say that uh, I don't paint like I used to paint when I was younger. I used to paint like 8, 10, 12 hours daily. It was so good. Now I paint, you know, sometimes just 6 hours, sometimes a couple of hours. Some days I don't paint at all. It shouldn't be like that, yes? We have to work from Monday Monday to Friday at least 8 hours daily, yeah? Thank you, hello Maria, hello Kemar or Kimar. Mervat is saying oil is the king of all of all important to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah there, there are more obviously more paintings. I mean oil is is more I mean it has proof it has proof that it resists a lot of time. It's really old. It's been around us for so many years. I'm, trying, I'm blending here and trying to get some texture. Hello, Sam Lu. Janet Gillette, I'm an old oil portrait art artist. I just can't get the same result from acrylics. This is acrylics? Yes, this is acrylics. Yeah, I mean, definitely it's not the same result. We can achieve more things with oil paints. And usually, uh, when people start painting with oil paints, with oils after using acrylics, they don't usually come back to acrylics. They stay with oil paints. Like I said, I mean, everything about this is just so personal. What I love about acrylic is that it dries fast. And I can, I can add glazes. I can change the color faster than oil what I don't like about acrylics is that uh, I love to blend I, I, I don't like sharp edges and with acrylic it's kind of difficult to get rid of sharp edges and you know uh, the edges are really important uh, thus uh, we always consider the edges when we try to create the illusion of depth because something that is so sharp always going to look uh, closer to us it's going to pop forward
Okay, and using just this brush, this is number six. Synthetic round brush. I'm using this one and I'm using this one as number zero. One thing I forgot to do always is this. Okay. To prevent this paint from drying. I mean, I, what happens is, I, you know, I paint a lot of oil paint. I use mostly oil paints and then when I use acrylics, I forgot to do that. I forgot to wet my brush. I, I have to keep my brushes wet. I mean, I've been using this one. What I do is dip this brush, water, and leave it there. Okay. I don't want the brush dry, uh, dry with paint. I mean, mostly what I do with acrylics is, uh, uh, let's say, first I start with like really thin paint really liquid paint, a lot of water, establish the shape, then I add more paint and then I start adding glazes. I say glazes because I mean I, I add more water to the paint and start just retouching from some areas and go back and forth here and there again and again again and again like I've been working the eye, then the nose, then the mouth and I'll be back again in a minute again to the forehead, the eye, the nose again I just love to keep an order like going from top, top to bottom I always keep using the same. I mean, one brush for applying the paint, another brush for blending. Let's see, I'm gonna pick up these two. This one is for applying the paint, this is for blending. Or vice versa. I mean, you choose. You choose what you want. Let's say, make this, I'm gonna add this light here. Okay, I'm gonna pick up this brush. It's wet. I do this to take the water excess. And I go like this. Okay, there was too much water in my brush. Okay, again, you can repeat the process so many times. The other option option I have is this brush. This is round brush. I use this, but I don't do this. I, I, I kind of I I, I dab on top of the canvas, like this. Okay, and I got the blend. And then I can do this really softly, really softly. Okay, I got the light there. I need more light here again. And I'm going to do the same. Sometimes dabbing doesn't work. You have to just move your brush like this. Okay. I need to work on the ear. And here on the neck is too dark, this. Oh, 
Sapna is asking me, doesn't the paint in the palette section dry up? Yes, that's why I have to use this and do this all the time. Not all the time, but uh, I mean, it's kind of a stay uh, wet at least I think for 10 15 minutes if I don't do this uh, about wearing the with the spray. Thank you, Jessica, my sonnet. Janet, Gillette, thank you. Davis Watts, would you ever do a tutorial in Spanish? I have my channel in Spanish. I have a, a lot of videos there. You look it from my, with my name, just Renzo Castaneda. And this channel is Renzo Art. The other one is just Renzo Castaneda. Fred, Saskimi, have you experimented with water mixable? oils? No, I haven't. To be honest, I haven't. I will, eventually. I will. Uh, uh, in fact, I, I asked uh, here, the price is it's like five times the price, of, the price of oil paints. Five times. I don't know, maybe it's the brand? I don't know. I don't know, but I mean, to be honest, uh, for me, it's for experimenting. And, and for experimenting with whatever Mix of all oils. I'm not gonna paint up. I'm not gonna pay that much. That means if I don't find any cheaper material, I'm not gonna use them. Sorry, it's just about that. I mean, I just uh, I'm, uh, and I have seen so many painters in YouTube that they say that it's kind of the same like regular oils, and I'm pretty sure I believe them. <laughs> I believe them. That's enough for me. Oh, Carlton. Uh, is the chain too long? Oh, let me check out, okay? Oh, yes, you're right. I think it's too long. Yes. Thank you, Carlton. Sabna, the difference I see is the, is the skin tone. Uh, no, no, uh, it's not my preference, Sapna. It just and uh, during the process to try to get the color, the color is not right yet. I mean, I, I, and I usually I don't I don't get the color right, like like never. I think maybe once, twice I get the color right, but not so so worried about to get the color right. It's more about to get the 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 structure, the proportions, and. The likeness when unable to get the likeness, I'm really happy with that. The color, if I don't get the color right, uh, that's okay. I think if I have more time to mix the paint, I'm gonna be able to get the color right. But it's not that I'm so worried about that. The likeness is just, I, I, I always worry about the likeness. And that's, that's, that's always the most difficult part. It's like this thing about the chain, like if Carlton, Carlton doesn't tell me about this, I'm pretty sure I didn't realize about this. I'm not making an excuse. I mean, I need I need more time. It's not it's not easier to get the color right. Definitely, uh, I would love to get it right just by mixing here and get, and getting really really right. But I, I'm not able to do that.
Oh, somebody's asking me about the canvas. No, I prepared the, this, this canvas myself. It's just three coats of gesso. Uh, let's say four because I, I, I applied three, three and the last one with uh, any color, usually gray. Lately, I use gray a lot as a base. I toned the canvas with gray acrylic. I mean, I mix the acrylic with gesso. Okay. And I prepare it myself. That's I prefer it. I prefer to prepare myself my canvases. And I add the gesso with uh, a ruler like like this. Let me show you. Any ruler, you put the gesso and you do this. Okay, over the surface. And I don't sand uh, between layers because I use a ruler and I don't need to send the canvas if you use a brush maybe I mean you, you have to send the canvas and my the, the I mean the uh, the cloth or the, the cotton that I use is uh, it doesn't have too much tooth But uh, there is a lot of problems, uh, usually related to the canvases. Okay, my advice that would be buy a really expensive canvases, because this thing about preparing the canvas, that's not practical. I mean, it's a lot of time, and I mean, I don't know. If you want to prepare your canvas, your own canvases, go for it. But that's not going to be my, my advice. Uh, I mean. When I when I buy canvases, I mean prepared canvases, I used to go and buy the uh, not expensive expensive one, but I definitely I don't buy the cheapest one. And I always add an extra layer, an extra coat of gesso because sometimes when the canvas is not okay, and when we paint, and the canvas start kind of sucking the uh, the oil paint, if you paint with oils yes, or uh, I don't know, I mean it's more my experience about more about, about oil paints because we have with acrylics, I don't know I think nothing happened or oh, it happens, I don't, I don't know to be honest, I, I mean, I've been working, I've been preparing my canvases for years I don't even know how, and even when I buy a canvas, I mean, I, I think I bought a canvas about uh, a month ago, a small canvas, immediately I just added a coat of gesso, I mean, I didn't even try to see if it was really good enough or not, I just got added that extra layer of gesso. That means, I, I mean, next, next time I'm going to try, I'm going to add. I'm gonna paint a little bit one corner or something and see the quality of the canvas because I've been doing the same so many times that I don't give the opportunity to the canvas to prove it's itself if it's okay or not Okay, let's try to get the color. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add glazes. 
If you want to buy canvases from Amazon, I mean, I have a link in the description box. It's a link that you click on the link and you go into Amazon and you buy anything you want. And I will get a commission. The commission is just cents. I, I, you know, this is a way to support my channel. Just click on the link and go buy, I don't know, whatever you want. A laptop and I'm going to get a commission. <laughs> Go for it. Don't think twice. Go and buy something from Amazon. You're gonna make me. You're gonna make me really happy. Okay. Let's let's, uh, let's work on the color. I need to gray down the whole skin. I need to light up this. Okay, first I think I'm gonna light up this. Okay, this is gonna be just glazes. Okay. Let's let it dry. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna get. It's gonna dark again. Anyway, let's mix white, a little bit of black, a little bit of this blue and yellow. Okay. Add more water. Colors, this color works here. Okay, more blue. Well, wow, it's too green. Okay, I had a problem with my internet connection, I think. Okay, I have this more greenish red. Whoa. And I'm gonna add this color here. A little bit, I'm gonna take out the excess of paint. Color is better. It should be a little bit darker. Yeah. I'll add this one here. Okay, here again, 
make this more greenish, grayer. Okay, give me a second. Looks like my I think the color is better here. Mm, yeah. Okay, I need to grade down even more. Okay. Okay. A little bit of white here. I still think I have to reduce here. Hmm. Okay. Let me see. I think that's better. I love this grayish color. I'm gonna add this one here. Okay, that's better. I like it. I like it. I don't care if you don't like it. Of course I care if you don't like it. like this one I mean, let me see oh, this is almost wet I, mean, I don't need too much paint okay I think that's enough I need another brush just like that this one little bit of water, almost nothing, okay, almost nothing I'm doing this, okay, let's see, again, A little bit of water. Okay. 
just pure white it's getting mixed with this green Okay. I'm gonna clean out my hand. Looks like like I'm having some problems with my internet connection.
Okay, looks like I'm having problems here. I think I'm gonna make a second part of this video. Uh, let me know, please, you can hear me okay, if you see okay the streaming. Because I, I have some notification, I'm getting some notifications here that uh, something is wrong with my streaming, with my internet connection. Yes, uh, you can hear me. I'm having some problems right now. Hello, Nikki. Yes, I'm having some problems right now. I don't know if this is gonna get better or not. Uh, I keep. I see my image is just froze, frozen here. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do to be honest. I want to paint a little bit more. I hope it get better. If it doesn't get better here, I'm gonna make a second part. Okay, I'm gonna continue tomorrow, maybe tomorrow morning or tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, I think, just to give the same, the same schedule. I still got, got a, I have a notification here in my screen that that looks like uh, the streaming is about to stop anytime. Well, I cannot do anything about it. Just, just internet problems. You know. <laughs> we will continue painting. Or at least for next maybe what right now I'm doing just like uh, glazes and picking up this you, you see it has almost no, nothing of paint and I'm going just like that light up this area because it doesn't have too much paint it's not gonna change too much this I gotta go again until I see that what I'm doing is uh, is changing this. Okay, it's better or not? Have to be darker here. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I still need to fix this. Okay. 